I don't know about you and what you're doing over there, but that's what we do over here. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. What it do, what it do? Back again, coming through. Who that is? That ain't nobody but Sumi Su about to do the do. Listen, how y'all doing? Is y'all all right? Girl, whoop de whoop, shibbity boop boop boop. We in hair, okay? We ain't doing no hair today, okay? We're gonna get straight in to the makeup. I got some new goodies, but the look that I am dying to do. Hello, hello. Stay in your place, and I'll be coming. Pull you out, pull you out, and dash you it. All right, if you don't want to leave your family, just tear right, that's all. I got some new goodies, but here's the thing, the look that I want to do, I don't want to be like pulling around a bunch of palettes because the palettes that I have, like I have a bunch of new palettes that I'm super excited to get into. I can't wait. I got the Nessa, hold on. I got a bunch of new palettes. I got the Danessa Myricks palette. I got all of the Beauty Bay uh, new palettes that I am super in love with. I can't wait to show you guys these. But the look that I want to do, like none of these palettes have all the color in one place. So I would have to be like this palette, that palette. So I don't want to do that. So today I'm going to be going into my trusty dusty Be Perfect palette. This has everything that I want to do. I kind of want to do like an artsy fartsy look again because I really enjoyed that last video. And I have been giving you guys like, you know, really beautiful, simple, everyday wearable looks like, well, not really everyday and not really wearable depending on who you are, okay? But y'all know the jail, okay? So I want to do some artsy fartsy business, okay? So going to be diving into this. I already have my brows done. Even though they're super harsh right now, I know they're going to soften up by the time my makeup is done and everything. And I really like how they look actually I'm feeling the dark you know it just looks <laughs> it's taking me back okay it's taking me back so listen chatty chatty ratty ratty we ain't gonna do all of that okay let's zoom in so we can get within oh let's get close cause you know zoom in zoom in to do the most <laughs> Okay, I think this is close enough. I don't think we need to be any closer than this to be honest with you, okay? And I film by myself and I would have to get up and zoom in and use something like, like, so we're gonna leave the camera right there for now for what we're doing, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is clean up under my brows and put on my eyeshadow base. I get a lot of question on these brushes because you know, people are like, you're just using one set of brushes, what are they? In actuality, these are not one set of brushes. It's just that they're aesthetically pleasing, you know? it's the it's all about the aesthetics okay it just makes me feel really really good when I come into my studio and I see all of my brushes they're all one color I love the rose gold feel but some of these brushes are by Sigma a lot of them are actually by spectrum and I bought two sets just to double up because you know when you're doing makeup you, you, you got to have doubles of stuff okay I mean if you know you know uh, some of these brushes I actually got off of eBay and they're called yeah Jessup so yeah it's just that they're really, really pretty. Um, I like the whole, you see what I'm saying? The white with the rose gold. It's just really, really, really pretty. But it's a mixture of brushes that I'm using. So, um, yeah. I still have my other brushes that I love. I still have all of my Morphe brushes, my black handle brushes, my red handle brushes. I love them, but you know, sometimes you just, I don't know, like I'm OCD about it. Like they all just need to be one color whenever I'm doing stuff, you get what I'm saying? Anyways, I digress. Let's put on the eyeshadow base. So for my eyeshadow base and to clean up under my brows, I'm gonna be using the, I'm using Mozambique by Juvia's Place. This is their cream foundation, but it's so full coverage, so heavy duty, that it can also be, you know, it can double up as a concealer for the eyes, basically. And um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be using. All right, so let's go. What is we gonna do? Listen, I don't have no clue how I'm gonna do this. So the idea is I wanna draw some like autumn leaves on my eye. Basically on Google, I have this picture. Let me turn on the brightness so you guys can really see. There you go. So I have this picture on Google. So I'm just gonna try and like mimic some of these flowers here some of these leaves i should say not flowers but these leaves so you see how they have like one two three so i'm thinking like one two three just draw them in basically so i'm going to use this as a guide to do my leaves and same way i'm going to be mirroring because when you mirror the look that's when it looks the best especially when you do look stuff like, when you do stuff like this you want it to be even so first i'm going to go in with some of my huda beauty setting powder in kunafa and I'm actually just gonna set the brow bone area because I want a little bit of slip in there. And as for the rest of the lid, I'm kind of just gonna put like a, a, a slight transition shade in there and then we're gonna go in and do the flowers. Okay, I'm nervous as hell, okay? I am so, 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 so nervous, okay? <laughs> because I've never done anything like this and if I mess up. <laughs> 
So I have my Stacy Marie. This is a beautiful palette. Okay, I don't care. Like I said, I really don't know this girl like that. But this palette is just absolutely beautiful. You know, what I mean, it has everything in here. Like it's just, it's just beautiful. Like hello, whoop de whoop shibbity boop boop boop. So I'm gonna take this shade and this shade right here. I'm gonna mix the two of these and create the first leaf. And I'm using like a little lip brush to get the shape because as you can tell, this little lip brush is already in that shape. So I'm gonna go in and create like the three petals and then we're gonna go from there. <laughs> I cannot talk to y'all right now. I cannot talk to y'all right now. Okay, I am sorry, girl. We, we, we is, what are you doing, Sumi? This is not your thing. It's gonna be your thing. Get into it. All right, here we here, here goes nothing, child. I'm nervous. Okay, so I'm looking at my picture. Let's go. You can do this. Okay, so instead of doing like one color on the leaf, basically I'm gonna do like a transition with it. So I'm gonna do like, you know, some of it young, some of the leaf is young while it's transitioning off into the orange and then into the red. Basically, you get what I'm saying? Y'all see it, okay? So I don't know if I'm gonna lift this palette up each and every time. If anything, I think I'm just gonna pop it here because I feel like I'm gonna be using several colors to do this. Yeah, I think that's a lot easier. That way I can just work, you know, like I can I can do the do whoop de whoop shibbity poop poop poop, okay? So maybe I'll move over here and then put the palette like right here. Okay, so for my next color, I'm going to go into this like fuchsia color. It's called Bloom. And with that, I'm gonna start to do the other leaf. And then I'm gonna go back can do like the little details after but right now I just want to place the leaves in place like you know get the little points and everything in place and then go from there and like go back in and do like the little details and stuff with a smaller brush but um yeah I've never done this before I don't know how to do this I'm just figuring it out as I go okay <laughs> Okay, so that is one leaf. Like I said, I'm gonna go back and do the little details afterwards, but that is one leaf that took me forever. <laughs> We're gonna do the second leaf, okay? So from here, I feel like I wanna do like a green to orange type of leaf. And then I'm gonna do like another leaf. I feel like I'm probably only gonna be able to fit like three leaves on here. So let's just go from there, okay? So, Lego. <laughs> I'm ready to back out. Ooh. Okay, so I've done two maple leaves. Is that what you call these? Maple leaves? <laughs> Girl, anyways. So I'm gonna do like a different type of leaf on here and just like carry that out like right here. And then I'm gonna go back and do all the details and it should come to life from there. So this is just basically the base. Right now it just looks like fire. It looks a hot mess, <laughs> but I'm having faith. I'm going through, I'm pushing through, okay? So uh, Lego. So we're gonna do like stems and all of that type of thing on the other, like the final leaf, basically. Okay, um, this eye was a little struggly, but we we got there, okay? It's just the position, you know what I'm saying? Do you guys remember that I had my, that I have my watercolors? I bought a whole pack of this. It's a, it comes in a set and I'll put it, I'll pop it up right here. But basically, it's finger paint for kids Kids. If it's safe for kids, you gotta be safe for the eyes, right? I have several colors in front of me and this is what I'm gonna use to go back and do the details. It's already mixed up in here, so once you open it, the color is activated, it's ready to go. I don't have to do much, okay? I'm gonna use a little eyeliner brush to do <laughs> the details, I'm stressed. You know, like, leaves have those little edges, you get what I'm saying? So that's what's really gonna take this look to where I need it to go. And leaves also have those little veins, so I need to do that as well. I'm stressed. First, I'm gonna go in with, I don't know, Wine Red. Okay, they have names. It's called Wine Red Perfect. That's what it looks like. So I'm gonna go in with this and start to create like the little details on the reddish leaf. <sighs> and then we're gonna do the veins. And Oh Lord, somebody. I'm not ready. Okay, so now that I have that, girl, I'm stressed. Fluorescent green, that's what this one is called. I'm gonna go in with that and just touch up that green edge. Something tells me I'm using the wrong color. Let's just do this little point right here. Okay, so I went and I got another one. This one is called grass green. It's a little bit deeper and I think it's a lot better than what I was going to do. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna do the veins. It's kind of looking leafy, right? Is it? Girl, I don't know. Okay, for this, I'm gonna be using reddish brown and 
love love this color so pretty true reddish brown and this is a finished brush I have honey so we're gonna try <laughs> okay and do these veins some way somehow Whew. okay so it is time for my lashes and girl my lashes are flutter lashes intoxicating and the yeah these are just the single ones I don't have I'm not wearing the double lift today because I don't want to do too much on the lashes. I want the look to peek through. But guess what, girl? We got a code, okay? Yes, we got a code. It's gonna be right here on the screen. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, finally, a code for Flutter Lashes. How do you mean? Y'all know I love these lashes. You hear me talk about it all the time, and especially intoxicating, and intoxicating double lift, and intoxicating wing. Those are my babes, okay? So uh, yeah, make sure you use my code. <laughs> whoop de whoop for that code, girl. <laughs> Okay, so the lashes are on. How pretty are these, okay? How pretty, like, I'm sorry. These are the best lashes that I own. They all come from Flutter Lash, like they're just, okay, yes. Anyways, and that's not because I got a code, okay? I had to ask them for a code, I was like, yo, I really like your lashes and I'm always promoting them. Can a girl get a code? They was like, sure, babe, let's do it. And I was like, yes. Stop. Girl, let's zoom out cause we finna show out. Okay, let's get right on into this phase. <laughs> okay, didn't go too far, didn't go too far. Okay, cause I still want you guys to see this makeup. All right, I feel like this is still, this is close enough. All right, so I wiped up under my eyes. So I'm have to go back in with a little, you know, a little skincare, shrink care. Okay, and I'm gonna be using my Lululun lotion. Okay, and I'm just going to press that into the skin and try not to mess up my brows. As you can tell, my neck is clearing up compared to what it was doing before. Looking a lot brighter, looking a lot more, a lot less splotchy and stuff like that. I'm gonna get into my nighttime, daytime and nighttime skincare routine because they are slightly different. And I don't use a lot of products, okay? But we're gonna get into it, all right? That's for another video. Okay, boom, so what are we doing next? Primer. <laughs> Finally got my hands on the Milk Makeup Hydro, no, what is this one? Is This one is called Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer, okay? The Milk Mattifying Primer, okay? Like, okay, y'all be doing too much with these names. Too much, all right, ooh, I gotta take off this thing. So I'm just gonna concentrate this like right in the tops here. Like I don't do the outer perimeters of my face. Like even though I'm super oily, I don't get like oily all the way out there. It's mostly in the center of the face that does the damage mostly. How many times do I say mostly? Y'all yeah, right? So the nose area, the tops of the cheek, the chin, and definitely the forehead. So it's my first time to use this. Um, it's giving a little bit of a tingly feel, which I feel is to be expected because a lot of these mattifying primers, like they just have a, like a little tingly feel to them. Doesn't smell like anything, but it definitely did matte me out a little bit. Okay, I like that. Ooh. Wait a minute, I kinda like that. You see what it did? Like, that glow is completely gone. I never carry it up under my eyes. I like that area to stay nice and moisturized, okay? You gotta take care of your under eye skin now, all right? <laughs> all right. My trusty dusty baby, this is my MAC Paint Pot in Bric-a-Brac, and I'm gonna use this to combat creasing and color correct at the same time. This is Bric-a-Brac and Painterly. I actually mixed it to create like the perfect orangey shade, okay? Cause orange is gonna cancel out the darkness. So that's why I opted to kinda mix it up because this color was like a super deep orange it could go by itself don't get me wrong but it was like really pigmented like I said with your fingers whenever you do this with your fingers it dries it out the product dries down like you're just rubbing it in compared to when you do it with a brush or a sponge doing it with your fingers really dries out the product you know so you get a better wear and a better finish basically i'm gonna do this whole entire area right here because that's where i need that color correction a lot of women of color we tend to struggle with you know deep areas dark areas around our mouth especially i don't know why okay it is s-o-c-k-s okay but i'm here to help you fix it okay you need an orange you need an orange concealer or color corrector to help cancel out the darkness that way when you put your foundation on top of this it looks really nice and seamless. If you want, you can also do like your little scars and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm not that serious about it, okay? As usual, I'm gonna be doing the single layer foundation, concealer, blush, everything all at once. It's just a lot lighter on the face. It really does make a difference. It might not seem like it, but I'm telling you just that one layer, you definitely wanna go in and color correct if you need it, as you see that I did, and just go in with the one layer and you're good to go, okay? I'm gonna be using the Danessa Myricks. This is her, 
two-in-one foundation and concealer but it's super thick so I'm gonna be using this as my concealer so I'm gonna go in with that and start to just like do my under eye and I like to just do this little triangle right here I never I'm done without hair I've tried it I it doesn't make any sense to me down the nose a little bit on the forehead I think I forgot how full cover like this is too much this is way too much like you need you just need a little bit of this stuff it's super creamy I can't remember the finish of the product <laughs> I don't know if it dries down or not. We're gonna find out, okay? We're gonna find out. So just in the center of the face, that's the only place I'm gonna be concentrating this color. That's where I want the light, okay? For my contour, I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Foundation Stick. This is in Coffee Bean. I love it so much, I really do. So I'm gonna stick with this and you know what let me push this wig back because it's not glued down and let me put on a headband hold on okay that's much 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 better <laughs> okay and i'm just gonna do like the temple area did that side and my jawline and my double chin hey boop -de boop shibbity boop 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 i'm gonna do the sides of my nose just a little bit, just a little bit. Get that contour going. Okay, for my foundation, I'm gonna be trying out the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. Absolutely love this, how pretty is this? And so you know, my shade is 4R64. Girl, just give me a name, just give me a name, okay? This is, you're doing too much, all right? These numbers and these codes, what does it say? It says, ultimate flawless second skin effect high blur effect with an undetectable finish buildable medium to full coverage high resistance on skin 24 hours long lasting waterproof sweat proof mask friendly true to skin shape love the packaging okay love the packaging i love this i just it's just giving minimalistic vibes it's just giving no i'm really liking the eyes now the more i look at it like i can see that these are autumn leaves because <laughs> Maybe I'm too close to the situation, girl. All right, I only got one shade. So girl, if we, we miss, we miss, but we gonna do the do. Whoop dee whoop shibbity boop boop boop. So I'm just gonna place this. Looks a little red, but hey, S-O-C-K-E-S. I'm just gonna place it where I want the foundation and we're done. It's giving red orange vibe. So, but you know, let's see how it looks when we do everything. All right, let's go. All right, so first I'm gonna go in and deal with my contour. I always go from darker to lighter and I switch each and every single brush, all right? So I'm just gonna pat this out. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and do the foundation. Just pat that out and buff it into the contour. Just push everything in, pat it in. And whatever is here, I'm just gonna pick it up, fill in the blanks, basically. I feel like this is actually drying out. I have a fan on me, so I feel like this is actually drying out. Like the foundation is actually drying down. I like the coverage, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, it's definitely medium. It's not giving full coverage and it definitely looks skin-like, for sure. Okay, already, I'm really liking this foundation. I am not gonna lie to you. I am already liking this foundation because it dries down and a foundation that dries down is an oily girl's best friend. I'm oily. I love my oiliness, but when I do my makeup, I do want my makeup to last and this feels like it's going to last because it dried down, okay? Okay, lastly, really liking how that face is looking. Like, that's really pretty. Lastly, I'm gonna go in and deal with my concealer. We're gonna pat this out and just blend that out. And I do love a brush for everything. You know, a brush does a really good job and it's a lot easier to clean compared to sponges, honey. Sponges are a nightmare to clean, all right? I'm not even gonna front. I'm not even gonna hold you. <laughs> I'm just not, okay? Okay, so to set my face, I'm also gonna be trying out the Makeup Forever setting powders I have sienna and i have tan neutral and i feel like i might have missed with tan neutral i don't know but if this is too dark i got my trusty dusty baby right here she never fails she is forever going to be bait okay this is by huda beauty and this is kunafa the best but let's see let's give makeup my makeup forever a run for its money okay so this is tan neutral they also give you like a really fancy little puff and everything but i'm not going to use the puff because i love my damp sponge for setting my face that will never change i also got a new sponge to play with this is the elf beauty sponge what is it called listen i've been seeing the girlies using this and i've been coveting it and i was like what is that why is nobody saying what it is this is by elf if you were like me and it's called the total face sponge absolutely love it look how big it is I had to get a girl okay so it's by elf <laughs> I had to get a girl I had to get it get it this powder I feel like I, I really missed this 
don't know if this is gonna give me i'm gonna have to go in with my huda girl this is not bad yeah i don't like this that looks like i could set my whole entire face with that so we're gonna put this aside and let's get right back into huda because this ain't it okay tan neutral is definitely tan and could actually set my whole entire face i'm gonna go in with my trusty huda and fix this situation because never fails never never ever fails see no that's what i'm that's what i need that's what i'm looking for hello pat it out on the paper you see how much better that looks already we're getting there okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and set my face so wherever i place the light concealer is where i'm gonna put kunafa and where i'm gonna try the sienna because it's a little red it's giving that vibe but if not i'm just gonna switch back to my huda or i'll probably just use tan neutral because that looked like it could set my whole entire face okay so now i'm gonna try sienna and look at her she's rich and she's giving it's a reddish brown color i absolutely love that so i feel like this is gonna be fine and i definitely can use tan neutral tan to do like my face as well that one just doesn't have like a really red tint so I can definitely still use it so it's not a waste but this is gonna put a little bit of red back into my skin so I really like that and I just took off the whole entire thing and I'm dipping straight in because baby I don't know how you're supposed to work this I'm lost I don't understand that little sifting thing like how do you shake it? How do you shake it to get the powder up? Like, what am I doing wrong? I'm up for learning, so if you wanna tell me how are you supposed to use it, go ahead and tell me how you're supposed to use it, girl, because I'm shaking and ain't nothing coming out because the holes are filled once that thing is closed. You know what I'm saying? So, um, great idea, but not so much. <laughs> You know what I forgot? Oh, I'm gonna beat myself up. I, I don't, why, why do I always forget this? I keep forgetting and I have it right in front of me. I also got the Rare Beauty Cream Blushes. I have two other ones and I decided to get this. This came in a little set, like a little holiday set. I think they're getting like, you know, little holiday sets ready. I love a holiday set. Like it's just vibesy. <laughs> Puts you in the spirit boo. Okay, to shop. Um, love this, this is super, super cute. And I love this, like these will last forever. They really do, they're super pigmented, super pretty, but I'm not gonna put this on top of my powder. I'm not gonna risk it, so we're just gonna go in with our regular degular blush. But next time, all right, I'm, I'm gonna try and remember next time. <laughs> okay, time to bronzify, catch poppy eye. Okay, so we're gonna contour our nose and we're gonna bronze the perimeters of our face, basically. So for my nose, trusty, dusty, baby okay this is the bronze palette by juvia's place and this is tan and with this i just use the lightest shade as you can tell i barely touched that one but with this one you can see like a little denty dent okay that's because it might not look like it's dark but trust me it's giving pigment okay yes so we're just gonna go in and contour the nose you know how it goes whoopty whoop shibbity boop 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 and i like to do the sides someone said that this didn't make any sense honey trust me don't you see that shadow right there you see what happened is the girlies love to make that nostril area completely disappear and i bring it back <laughs> okay that's what that's that's the difference okay for the perimeters of the face i'm just gonna do both i'm just gonna how oh, smooth okay you know? the skin is skinning today i am not gonna hold you here i'm gonna go back to my eyes i'm gonna start like touching up and fixing you know that outer flower and i'm gonna finish off like the lower lash line for the lower lash line i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm gonna do but i feel like i'm gonna take like that color and just do that but first things first yeah, let's just do the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take those two shades that I used to create that and we're gonna just really brush that in there. Okay, for my inner corner, I'm gonna go with a gold and this is called Rum. <gasps> oh my God, Rum, Rum itself. Okay, it's Stacey Caribbean. Anyway, girl, I'm gonna activate this. You know, I'm just going to spray my setting spray on it to wet it. That way it becomes a lot more metallic. And just pop that right in there. Boom, you don't need nothing more. You don't need nothing more. Here's what I did. I went ahead and I placed two more little leaves right there. This is pretty. It's giving autumn now. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of myself. I think I did a good job. Okay, so I did my mascara and now I'm gonna go in with this eyeliner. This is by ColourPop. This was one of their collections. I think it's a limited edition type of thing, but regardless, ColourPop have some of the best eyeliners. I'm telling you, this is a metallic, a mauve type of color and I think it'll look pretty fun in there. So let's do that. Okay, we're looking a little flat. What do you need? Highlight. 
this is what happens when I stop using this blush palette like I just forget about all my other highlighters you see what I'm saying because I used to get everything from here I used to get all my blushes from here my highlight from here you see what I'm saying anyway girl we're gonna do a little something something on the nose just a little something something on the nose okay that's that's the only place we're gonna bring some light back right there a little bit on the cupid's bow just a little bit you know what I'm saying even though we're gonna cover that up by the time we fill in our lips that's what we gonna do whoop dee whoop shibber dee boop but you see how that brought the face to life Anyway, girl, for my blush, though, I'm going to be using this. This is volume one. I'm still coveting volume four. I think it's back in stock. Make sure you use my code. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the darker one first. And we're going to put that at the very tops of the cheeks. Yes, and then I'm going to take a little bit of the orange and bring that down. Push it up under that highlight. Get a really nice good flush of color. Just really pat it in there get a really nice good flush of color just really pat it in there Ooh, look at that time for the lips boo boo it's gonna be a juvia's lip honey here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go in with scarpio scarpio is basically like a burgundy reddish brown type of color and then i'm gonna go in with bronzed maple which is I think it's gonna give and then I'm gonna top it off with so glaze which has little hints of gold and pink and purple I think it's just gonna look really 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 pretty I might go you know what hold on I'm not done you thought I was done I'm also gonna try red velvet in the very very center of the lip let's just see how it goes okay so first I'm gonna rim the lips with Scorpio all right and um I take my lips serious, okay? They need to be perfect. They can't be, you know what I'm saying, wonky lines and I need it to be perfect. I don't know about you and what you're doing over there, but that's what we do over here, okay? So, now I'm gonna go in with bronze and maple. Hello, you just fell off, so. Don't be in here. Look at the, the, the wand compared to the little two. Girl. Okay, I love that I could stop right there. And you know what? I think we should make this a matte lip instead of gloss because it's autumn. You know, autumn gives off matte, you know? So we might just stay right here, all right? But I wanna go in with a little bit of this red lipstick. I'm so tempted to put a gloss though because I know that put a gloss is just gonna be really pretty. But this is basically it for the look. I would spritz my face, but with this eye makeup, I am not gonna chance it because this is just eyeshadow and water water colors on the eyes so <laughs> I'm not gonna set the face today because I don't want nothing running before I take my pictures but I love should I do the gloss I, I love botanical gloss okay wait 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 let me tell you something let me tell you something wait a minute okay I remembered that Juvia's not Juvia's place oh my god I'm so used to saying them that Sigma gave me this gloss a while back heartfelt okay you know they be so tiny who can't read this my eyesight not so bad but who can't read this eh who eh now if you buy one magnifying glass to help me out but anyways look at this color look at this color if this is not giving autumn and then just oh you know when you get excited oh and it's the brush type look at that look at that okay guys that is it for this look i hope you guys enjoyed this listen <laughs> the look is up the look is up let me say it up okay come on now tell me i ain't did something i did a little something something okay yes i'm proud of myself i think i did a good job it definitely looks like autumn leaves okay i was doubting my artistry but i feel like there's a much more simpler way to do this i just haven't figured it out yet but when i do i'm definitely going to do another look like let me know if you guys are enjoying the artsy fartsy type of look. Anyway, I'm not gonna ramble on. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and jump out of here because I'm gonna edit this and upload right now. Okay. If it is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Join the tribe. Come on in. We are a happy bunch. We like to keep it nice and clean and classy in here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below because I really want to hear from you guys. Share the video because sharing is caring. Follow me on all of my social media platforms. And until the next video, take care of yourselves. And I will see you guys really really soon. <laughs>